What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. You know who I am. I'm Dan. It's Poor Michigan Reviews, aka Poor Michigan Beer on Instagram uh, and TikTok and everywhere else that I can try to put my account name and start a brand, guys. So that's what I've been doing lately. Like it's just a little bit of a life update, a channel update. Things aren't going to change that much. I mean, you've probably noticed on the channel recently, I've been doing like these weird short memes, you know. Um, I've had some crazy success on Instagram. So really trying to push that name. Uh, it's it's always going to be a hobby, guys. Honestly, those of you that know me, I own a family business. I'm a part of a family business. That's my number one job. It's probably never going to change, not anytime soon. Um, but the hobby has been the craft beer thing. Like I love doing it. I love talking to you guys. I love being here. I, I have a lot less time these days. I used to be able to just rip out reviews all the time and do different sorts of content all the time. You'd see Danny from time to time, my wife. And it's just uh, harder nowadays. We have a child. She's approaching one and a half years old. I'm, I'm just really busy. I work a lot. It's the busiest time of year, end of July now i mean it's july is the busiest month of the entire year so it's it's been almost no free time so it's amazing i've actually gotten any of this content out to you guys uh, but it's all just for my own enjoyment maybe not yours but it's for me so let it be known this channel started because i love it i love doing it i love talking to you guys i love spreading the the love about the craft beer community i love talking about it talking about beer and different types of styles and reviewing my opinion with you guys not that i'm always right because i'm usually wrong probably uh but that's the life update you know just busy being a dad uh, i have a lot of fun things coming up traveling wise in september but until we get to september guys it's just been nose to the grindstone been working a lot uh, and i'm just having fun with this channel i'm having fun with instagram trying to put that poor Michigan beer name out there, trying to see where that goes. I don't know where that potential goes, I don't know. But I do know that back in like March, I started doing like the meme thing, the really crazy, ridiculous, satirical memes uh, related to craft beer and drinking. And uh, some people kind of took offense to that. Some people don't like that, but it's it's really for fun. I mean, we live in a day and age where everything is taken so far out of context. Everything is so not fun, it's demonized, it's just, it's terrible where we've gone as a whole, I think. Um, we, we're supposed to have fun in life. We have one life, let's live it. Uh, so I saw crazy good traction and success on Instagram doing the beer memes and everybody just kind of like either loved it or hated it, but I feel like I got a, a brand new audience that's acquired to, to my channel and to my Instagram page. And I'm, I'm happy about that. You know, I'm approaching like 30,000 followers on Instagram, that's pretty sweet. Um, whole point is to drive up people to here. I mean, ooh, wow. I've only had one beer, relax. So the point of that was to drive the traction to this channel and to actually just pull it to Instagram and anywhere else I can. So uh, where will it go? I really just don't know, guys. It's always been a hobby. It's probably always going to be a hobby. I'm not gonna ever take it that seriously. It's not gonna be the main driver of income, but what I've noticed from putting those memes on the shorts, it's, it's driving up monetization. It's, it's, it's getting uh, more subscribers, it's giving me traction, and it's putting me in the right direction that I like to go, which is forward and up. Uh, that's the whole point of doing something. You try to get better at it. You try to try different angles. You try to acquire new hobbies and habits that make your life and channel better, whatever it is you're doing, your job, whatever. So that's been really awesome to do that traction. But again, back to like the meme thing. It's satirical. It's They're ridiculous. Sometimes I say things in those memes that just shouldn't be taken seriously. I mean, I even say it in a lot of them is like, this is a joke, this is, I'm kidding. I don't drink seven days a week, or do I? I don't. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I've been, I've been working out a lot. I've been working out a lot, I've been drinking a lot less. Uh, but on my day off, I chill, I have a couple beers. Uh, I'm a human. I decompress, I chill, I have a good time. Um, but with all that being said, we live in a day and age where, I, you know, you, you have to put something out there that is worthy of a conversation. And sometimes it's a lot of negative conversation that happens in the comment section. You know, I, I, I put out memes that have like Donald Trump in them, Joe Biden, uh, uh, you know, and, and people just like automatically assume I'm a Republican because I'm, I'm putting Donald Trump in so many of my memes. Well, it's not necessarily the case, guys. I mean, I'm, I'm not even gonna tell you what I am, but I, I'm I, truly, I fall somewhere in the middle uh, of, of both sides. I'm, 
not that old. I feel like a lot of people my age fall somewhere in the middle. I feel like a lot of people are undecided on what they want to be or what they see this world as. And I don't think you can just put someone in this one lane and say, that's what I am. I, I disagree with both sides on a lot and I agree with the, some things on both sides. So it has nothing to do with politics. I feel like I get everybody riled up in the comment section, you know, like, oh, you, you shouldn't be doing this. You're, you're, you, why are you putting glorifying him? Why are you making fun of Joe Biden? Well, guys, come on. We're having a good time. We're relaxing. We're having, we're joking. We're joking. Uh, and that's the whole point of posting content is that it gets traction. And uh, that's what I found to be pretty sweet with those memes is they do get a lot of traction. And there's quite a few videos that I've made that have, I don't know, you know, 7 million, 16, 17 million views. It's pretty insane that I've created memes that have gotten that kind of pull. Um, and, and again, all that is is satirical. All that is is to joke about something I like, which is craft beer. It, it's, it's about beer. It's not about politics. I'm using uh, political people as a driver uh, through which I get engagement, but as far as am I this, am I that, it's not that serious. It's about beer. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I've been doing. So guys, I mean, it's just like a little bit of a life update telling you where I spend a lot of my time and uh, posting content. It's, it's going to be on Instagram predominantly because that's where I've had the most traction. Again, approaching 30,000 followers. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm going to go with that, but just having fun with it and uh, taking it as it comes. But uh, as far as this channel, I love to just continue doing this with you guys. I, I'm, I want to do the beer reviews. I, it seems like the seltzer and anything that's almost non-beer related seems to get a lot of traction as well. It seems like that was always the trend, was trending away from craft beer. Craft beer is very niche especially Michigan craft beer. Mm. Black Rocks, love it. Shout out to Black Rocks and Markup. Best beer. Oh man, so good. Uh, but it's it's niche so like I, I guess the objective eventually and it's always been sort of that way was to break out of that niche and just become a little bit larger and do different things that attract more people rather than just within that little niche uh, beer is still a niche and drinking still a niche but uh, i feel like you can broaden that horizon a little bit by you know leaving just the review game if i post different content that isn't just always an old fat chubby guy talking about beer you know i feel like that could pull more people and they'd be more interested in this channel than just seeing this whatever this is so um i'm having fun with it guys like that's the main point of this video is that i'm just giving you the update on i'm having fun with it it's still fun and i've always stated it when i'm when i'm not having fun anymore i will stop i will i will just stop or you know if it's too out of control where it's like hey you know i'm just drinking too much uh, but a lot of the times the reviews are a, a, a poor and sometimes I just don't finish those beers. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, in my opinion, I feel like less beer is better for you. But at heart, hey, I love beer. I love beer, guys. So um, everything's good. I'm trying to keep one foot in front of the other, see where the channel goes. And again, trying to kind of monetize like Instagram eventually, trying to monetize more on YouTube. I'm already getting a little bit of monetization, nothing crazy, uh, but I'm, I'm on pace better than I've been before, you know, with, with those extra videos. But obviously any extra money is awesome. So a hobby that generates money is gonna always be great. And that's a good thing I strive for is to monetize as much as possible and call me greedy or whatever, but who doesn't want extra cash in their pocket? Come on. So yeah, guys, it, it's, it's, we're having a good time. It's, it's poor Michigan beer. It's poor Michigan reviews. I'm going to be here. I'm not going anywhere. God willing. And, uh, I'm just having fun with it, taking it one day at a time. And, and I find myself babysitting my own daughter quite a lot. So is it really babysitting? Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm watching my daughter, but you know, she takes naps. So times like this, I'm sitting here talking to you guys and, um, it's a, it's a great way to decompress and a great way to do something that isn't my normal job the other seven days a week. So Thanks for being here. Guys, I appreciate each and every single one of you. Don't take life that serious, but you know what? Continue to pour Michigan beer.